Hello, everybody. This is Don again. I know you're used to Becky and MJ on Mondays, but we swapped days this week. So welcome back to my science garage. But there's been one change this week. This week and this week only. It's not the science garage. It is the, da -da -da, the math garage. Hey, I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, man, that's so boring and it's so dumb. Don't worry about it. I'm not just going to do random math. I'm not just going to sit here and scribble numbers for 15 minutes. I have based today's video, <coughs> excuse me, on uh, a meme that's been floating around social media. It's uh, it's something that goes around from time to time, and I saw it going around a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, oh, this would be fun, because it's kind of like a math puzzle. And whenever you look at the comments, when somebody shares one of these little memes, uh, they have thousands of different uh, solutions and everyone's going, it's 12, it's 40, it's 120. And everybody's confused as to why they're getting all these different numbers. Now with these puzzles, you may be familiar with them. It's like math, but with pictures. Okay. So it'll be like, uh, like shoe plus shoe plus shoe equals 30. And it'll be like a dog plus a dog plus a shoe equals 20. And then it'll say like, uh, I don't know, a smiley face plus a smiley face plus the dog equals whatever. And then it has a fourth equation with all the pictures and it asks you to figure out what that is. So you got to figure out what all the three pictures are and then you have to add them, multiply them, do whatever to figure out what the final answer is. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to walk through the steps and I'm going to teach you a couple of mathematical techniques, stuff that is pretty basic for me. Ah, there we go. Now, because I didn't want to steal anybody's work, I made my own faithful reproduction of one of these that I've seen floating around with children's museum related uh, objects. So we have some football cleats from the Riley Sports Legends Experience. We have a carousel from Carousel Wishes and Dreams and some dino footprints from where else? Dino Sphere. Shoe plus shoe plus shoe equals 30. Carousel plus carousel plus shoe equals 20. Prince plus prince plus carousel equals 13. And finally, shoe plus carousel plus dinosaur print equals... Huh? How are we going to solve that? Well, that's why I have my whiteboard with my ugly letters that says math garage. Okay. Actually, on your end, it just says garage. That's okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with this green one. And here's what I want you to pay attention to, because some of these memes try to trick you and trip you up. Okay, first thing, we have two shoes plus two shoes plus two shoes equals 30. But if you look down at the very last one, it only has one shoe. Same with the dinosaur prints. That's one of the reasons that I think people get different numbers is they don't notice that, oh, the very top one has two objects and the bottom one only has one of those objects. Something else to pay attention to. Everything is plus, 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 plus until the very end. We're at shoe plus carousel times dinosaur print equals question mark. And you'll notice I even skipped that myself. If you go back once this is done, go back and you'll see that I said shoe plus carousel plus dinosaur print equals nah, because I missed it. When I was making that, I messed it up because I got so caught in the pattern of plus, 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 plus. But that says times. They're trying to trick you. Uh, so, you know, normally math isn't trying to trick you on purpose, but, you know, still pay attention to everything very closely, especially those operation uh, operator signs. We call them the plus minus multiplica multiplication. The plus minus times divide. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do to start this out. I'm gonna we're gonna write stuff on the whiteboard. We're gonna work it out, and then we have to figure out what the shoe equals. We have to figure out what the carousel equals. We have to figure out what the dinosaur print equals. And as we do, I'm gonna write them all in here, so we know what each one is equal to, and we can go into that final equation. And if you want to follow along with this at home. All you need is a pencil and paper. That's it. You just need a pencil and paper or a pen and paper. I don't care. Just a writing utensil and some paper. Now, for everybody who is just now joining us, we're going to do a math meme. I have remade one of these math memes that floats around and confuses people, and uh, we are going to start solving it right now. Now, here's something I'm going to do for my whiteboard strategy. Uh, I don't want to draw shoes and carousels and dinosaur prints all the time, so I'm just going to turn them into numbers. We're going to use S for the shoe. Oops, let me make that fatter. Let me, let me erase that. Hold on. Oh, where's my eraser? I lost my eraser. I got all this science stuff here on the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Try this again. S 
is going to be the shoes. And what else do we have? We have a carousel, so we're going to just call that C. So I don't have to draw a carousel every single time. <clears throat> and then finally, uh, dinosaur print, we're just going to call that a D. And we'll figure out what each of these means. I'm going to just going to turn them into letters there so it's easier for me to do this every single time. So our first equation would be two S's plus two S's plus two S's equals 30. So I'm going to just to do this kind of easier. We've got two S plus two S plus two S equals 30. Okay, two shoes plus two shoes plus two shoes equals 30. Now, two shoes plus two shoes plus two shoes is six shoes. I, I hope you agree with that, right? Pretty simple math. So we can actually simplify this. We can make it six shoes equals 30. And we got to get down to just that one S. What is that S? How do we get rid of that six? We need to make that six go away so it's just the S, so we know what S equals. Well, okay, what that really means is six times S. And the opposite of multiplication is division. So if we took this and we divided it by six, that would make that six go away. Six divided by six is one, and so it would just be S. But then it just says S equals 30. We know that's wrong because 6S has to equal 30. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, here's a trick. Here's a mathematical strategy. This equal sign means this on this side is the same as this on this side. And we're used to the equal sign having a question mark on this side. But in this case, the S is really what our question mark is. And if we divide this by 6, but we also divide this by 6, that equal sign is still going to be true. You can do something. If you do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign of math, it's still true equal sign. So if we get rid of both of these sixes, now it's just S, and 30 divided by 6, we haven't done division yet, it's, uh, it's 5. We'll just, we'll just say that. So it's 5, and we can get down to S equals 5. There are five sixes in 30. Okay, so we know what S is. So we'll put that over here. Erase this. Start over. Use a different color for carousel plus carousel plus two shoes equals, excuse me, 20. Okay, so this is a little bit easier to write out. It's just a C for a carousel plus a carousel plus well, it was two S's, right? But we know what S equals. So we can just say two shoes, a shoe is five. So two shoes is 10. So C plus C plus 10 equals 20. And notice I keep staring at the screen because I can't remember what my own meme is that I made. They have to reference it constantly. Okay, so C plus C. Well, just like we did before, that's two, two, two carousels, right? So we can simplify this to two carousels plus 10. Remember that's two shoes equals 20. And let's do that thing I did before. If you do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, the equal sign is still true. So we need to get rid of this 10. That's that's confusing the issue. And just like division is the opposite of multiplication, subtraction is the opposite of addition. So if we go minus 10 on this side and minus 10 on this side, we get two carousels equals 10. Still true because we did the same thing on both sides. And now we need to get rid of this two. So just like we did with the six shoes, we'll divide it by two, divide it by two. And that means C carousel is also five. Okay, we know what our carousel is. A shoe is five and a carousel is five. All we have to figure out is that dinosaur print. So let's do that in black. Okay. Dinosaur print. Once again, we have two prints plus two prints plus a carousel is 13. Okay, and our dinosaur print is D for dino. So two dinosaur prints plus two dinosaur prints equals 13. Well, I mean, we've done this before. We know what comes next. It's four dinosaurs. Wait, hold on. I messed it up. It's okay to make mistakes. Always remember that. Anyway, two dinosaur prints plus two dinosaur prints plus a carousel, which we know is five, because we figured that out, equals 
13. By now, you should be seeing a pattern. We're just going to go do, uh, we're going to simplify first. So, four dinosaur prints plus five equals 13. And we're going to do the opposite of what we see on this side to both sides. So, opposite of addition is subtraction. So, we're going to take five from there. We're going to take five from there. And we end up with four dinosaur prints. I can't write today. I'm really bad at writing vertically. Sorry. Four dinosaur prints equals 13 minus five. Give you a second to figure it out. Eight. Okay. Eight. I can't write eights either. It's a weakness of mine. Okay. Four dinosaur prints is the same as eight because 4D plus five equals 13 minus five minus five. Okay. Still true. Everything works. 13 minus five is eight. Now we got that four. And if we make that go away by dividing by four, we get a dinosaur print equals eight divided by four. How many fours are in eight? Two. Dinosaur print equals two. So we'll write that over here. And now we are ready to finish off this math puzzle meme. Oh, oh. oh that black does not like to go away, does it? Gonna have to wipe this down with some of the spray cleaner when I'm done. All right, I'm gonna use red for the last one. This one is a single shoe plus a single carousel times a dinosaur print, not two dinosaur prints, one dinosaur print is whatever. And once we plug these in and do the math, we will know what that number is. We will have solved the math meme. Okay, here we go. So one shoe, S is five. So a shoe is five. So it is five plus carousel is five times a dinosaur print is, what do we figure out? Two, two, two equals, oh, uh, who knows? Now this looks a little more familiar now, doesn't it? It's just a basic math equation. Aha, but there's one last thing. A lot of people probably, I assume, I figure, mess up when they get to this step. If you just go five plus five equals 10, 10 times two is 20. That's the wrong answer. Because in math, we have something called the order of operations. When you have a mix of plus, minus, multiply, and divide in your equation, you have to do them in this order. Multiply. Wait a minute. I've got to write the word. Divide. Addition. Subtraction. M D A S. And the mnemonic device for that that I learned in sixth grade and will never forget is my dear Aunt Sally. You always do math in the order, my dear Aunt Sally. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So we have to do this times first. So it ends up as five plus, five times two is 10, it's just five plus five, that's easy, equals mm -hmm. five plus 10, super easy, 15. That's it. Now I know I did a lot of explaining. If I sat down to work on this myself, I'd probably have it done in like three minutes because it wasn't explaining everything to everybody. It seemed like it took a while, but once you know a couple of things, one, pay attention to exactly what your, how, how many of each there are. Two, um, if you do, you can do something to both sides of an equation and it's still true. The equal sign is still true. And three, my dear Aunt Sally, it'll take a little while, but you can eventually figure one of these things out. And uh, everybody, I hope you're impressed with yourselves because this number 15 is the result of 10 minutes of algebra. Congratulations, you didn't even know it and you were doing advanced math, algebra, and not even like, this is not even first semester algebra. This is second semester multivariable multi-equation algebra that you probably are gonna see in ninth or 10th grade. Okay, and you just did it to solve a meme. That's the thing that when, the, when, when those memes started going around, it jumped out at me. Like, everybody's having fun doing this. They don't know they're doing algebra. They hated algebra, I bet. And now they're going to do it because it's a meme. 
algebra is just like solving puzzles. It was one of my favorite math subjects when I was in high school because it can get really complicated and it can get tough and you can like bang your head against the puzzle, but algebra is puzzle solving. When you don't know what a number is and you replace it with a letter or a picture, but letters are easier, we call these variables. And you solve what the variables are and then you get your answers and that, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, and all the people watching, is algebra. Congratulations. You're smarter than you thought you were. Now go use your new algebraic knowledge and solve all those silly memes. Thank you once again for watching. And if you have anything cool you'd like to share with us, make sure you do it with the hashtag TCM at home. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.